morning, Nighthawks. I'm Kaylee. I'm Nargis. And Ellie's on the mixer. And Caitlin's on the teleprompter. Today is Friday, May 3rd. Hey, Nighthawks, come join your fellow NHTV and multimedia students for our annual Film Fest. Film Fest is Saturday, May 18th, and it's free, open to all students. You will watch the best films and be able to walk the red carpet. Now it's time for the pledge. Please stand, put your hand over your heart, and say the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Hey, Access teachers, Mr. Bouquet sent you a survey this morning that asks about our daily broadcast. Your future leaders, we want to make sure that we're making the best broadcast possible for next year, and we would love to hear your feedback. Please talk to your Access class and fill out the Google form before the end of Access today. Thank you for helping us out. Now it's time for a joke. What do you do to have a space party? I don't know. What? You plan it. If it's your birthday, then this one's for you. Happy, happy birthday from my Hawk News to you. We wish you happy birthday so we can eat cake too. Woo! That's, That's all we have for you today, Nighthawks. Have, have a freaky, freaky Friday. Friday. Bye. Bye. Roll it. Oh, that's a really long story. Um, I became a principal after I taught for two years in Michigan. Then I moved to, to Colorado, actually here to Rocky Heights. I taught science here uh, prior to switching to actually teach a little bit of our technology class and uh, the Nighthawk News for a little while. Uh, after I did that for a while, I moved over to Crest Hill Middle School where I was an assistant principal for eight years. And then I just got the best job on the planet, getting to come back here as principal. What is a normal day being a principal like? There is no such thing as a normal day in a middle school. <laughs> What's the favorite part of being a principal? Uh, best part of being a principal is the, the 1,200 people that are here every single day. It's all of you guys. It's the amazing staff. It's Rocky Heights has, it's an energy that is hard to explain super excited learners loving to come to school even on the mornings when you're tired coming in um, awesome teachers that, that love what they get to do for you guys uh, it's 100 percent a people place and it makes this uh, like i said before the, like the best job on the planet what skills are required to be a principal oh my gosh i don't even know how to answer that question um, you have to be able to process a lot of things happening all the time um, when you think about you know 1200 people again all of the different needs of, of every student of every staff member of our building as a whole um, it's a lot of stuff it's a super high volume um, but I think probably the most important one is you have to truly just care about care about people you have to, to, to love and care about knowing that you've got all these adolescents going through some really 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 complicated times in their life um, working toward that really sturdy uh, adulthood that you're all gonna get to um, and just be able to, to understand the needs of the moment at any given time. What inspired you to become a principal? Uh, when I was teaching science, I wanted to understand more. Um, I, love, I loved every part of my career. Uh, I, I miss them, I also love what I'm, I'm currently doing. What inspired me to really to, to gain perspective on, on this job was as a, as a science teacher, I could see the issues and what was impacting my kids from my classroom. And there were times where there were things happening in the building that I either didn't agree with or didn't understand. And so I, as an adult, wanted to learn more. And so I went back to school for um, educational administration to just understand the perspective of the building. And the more I did that, the more I found that part of, of what we do as educators fascinating as well. And so I wanted to continue to, to move and to try to impact more and more and more and more kids. And I kind of found my way here. Um, it wasn't something that I was necessarily looking for, but it's something that I really love doing.